Hey y'all, I am super excited to do another cryptogram with y'all today. So today I have a book that was gifted to me by Isabel Kluwright. Uh, she speaks in code. It is all quotes from women. So I am super excited to break this book open and do a quote. Uh, as you know, on my channel, we like to do things on hard mode uh, because why not? So we're going to do a quote solving it word by word, meaning instead of writing down each letter as we figure it out or guess it, we're not going to commit until we can write the whole word down, which is uh, annoying. But it's also really crazy and fun to do because it's doable and you're going to feel really accomplished afterwards. We can just pick a random one. Let's see, that one looks a little big. Let's let's do this one, let's do 131. I like the length of it. Doesn't look too scary, but also if you have too few words, it actually can be harder if it's just like 10 words like this one. So this to me is a nice kind of middle ground way to start. So as we know with a cryptogram or a crypto quote, each letter is gonna take the place of another letter and the codes are always different. Um, so these are just basically like symbols holding place for another letter. So for example, W here is probably gonna be A or I. Um, and then we also wanna look for things like punctuation. The whole thing is in quotes, so we don't really need to put the quote marks, but we see a, an apostrophe right here. We see a nice little dash and a period. So it's one sentence long. We also see the name here. Um, sometimes this can be a little bit of a hint, the last name if there's an apostrophe, but uh, so let's see. Let's kind of look at the rhythm of the sentence. So, da 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 na na, mm hmm ba ba, and then some sort of explanation over here, or some sort of side note, whatever, little aside. Now, one thing I noticed right away is this kind of uh, five-letter pattern here is also over here with an apostrophe attached to it. So. If it's an apostrophe like this, it's probably going to be like NT, like doesn't or wouldn't or couldn't. Uh, it actually can't be couldn't. That one's a clue because the letter cannot stand for itself. So that's one little hint they give to us in this otherwise hard game. Um, so it could be would. Shouldn't would be an extra letter. So it can't be shouldn't. Um, doesn't is too short. Um, yeah. It, I don't think it's apostrophe S because I don't know. It would be a little rare that you would like add another letter and then make an apostrophe S. Not impossible, but not likely. So let's say this is uh, wood. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. Yes, you want to help out, don't you? Well, you're going to help out by not getting in the way. Okay, great. That's Tatsoi. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be A or I. So a uh, blank, uh, well, you wouldn't say a uh, would, you would say I would. So it's probably I, like I knew I would something. It's not new, this is five letters. And then I would, this is here and here, this kind of Y, X, D. So words that repeat like three letters could be the, but would the is is sounds awkward so it's probably not that um yeah a lot of three-letter words so it i don't know we don't know what it is yet um uh, something 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 this looks a little similar but it's just the first letter so let's say it's w-o like wood then we'd have w-o blank o blank i do not know what would fit that W O blank O. Uh, I'm thinking like water, but that's only how people like me say it. That's not really how you spell it. Um, I don't know. So maybe not wood, or maybe there's just another word I can't think of. So let's think that this could possibly be something else. Um, let's see. And then another three letter word. This word starts and ends with the same letter. This word, I like this word because it also starts and ends with the same letter. So it could be a plural uh, three letter word that starts with an S, like saws or something. Or it could be that, T-H-A-T. -T. Or is there one more that might come to mind? I mean, dead could also work, but I don't know, a little dark. So 
let's say let's say that um, then that would be a T yes we like that um, we have another TH over here another TH over here great 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 this is good okay so another TH here uh, oh but then this one oh this is this is I okay so I and A great um, something like T H I N if this is int um, like thinks or things okay that all sounds good so the Y could be an S ends an S here thinks uh, or things uh, blank blank this is an N so N O things uh no things I things I blank no something lug um hmm. okay okay it, we have something to work with let's try going back here we still don't know the C this would be an O right I think if this is no um so don't know that or that or this O. Okay, let's see. If this is that, then then this has an A. We said this was an S. The D, I don't know. Does it say say or um? I don't think it saw um, any others that are coming out. S A sat. No, not really. Okay, let's say say something. Hmm. Wait, I still okay. Our original thought was wouldn't, but then we were like, no, that's weird over here. But what's this V? So it's W O U L D, right? Yeah. W O U L D. So this is an L. W O L O. Okay. Uh, it doesn't like it. Now, if this C meant C, it would be like, oh, color and couldn't. Um, usually letters don't stand for themselves. So um, this is my first time doing this book. So I don't know if they, mm, I really want to be like color and could but I don't know if that's what they're doing here. W, O, W. Ah, I don't know what that is. We don't know what the G is. Okay, let's just say anything else doesn't, wouldn't, shouldn't, couldn't, could not. Maybe there's another word. Okay, let's say say, and this would be A, N, say any. Something, uh, hmm. Oh, I, sorry. I mustn't say any, something like that. Uh, say any other, right? So we know this is O, T, H, probably E. And then if that's an E, that's probably not. Say any other way, right? Let's see. I don't know what that is. A Y. All right, let's write some words down and hope we're right because that's how we have to play it. Say any other way. I hope that's right because we are using ink as we always do. Uh, and let's go ahead and write down the A's too because that's a word. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Other way. So O T H. And then this up here, we have the Q. So this is a W. W A T. Something. W A T. No, not A. Sorry. W is. Did we say this was something? 
Oh, wait. Oh, this isn't Y. Hold on. I. This is an I. Am I switch? I keep switching. Oh, this is why it's hard mode. Uh, but you're right. I said several times that this was an I. Okay. Now it makes sense. It's okay to be imperfect. It is all right. Okay. And let's say this is that. All right. That I something say any other way. Great. Okay. That's why it helps to write it down, of course, as we know. This is also say, right? And then this is going to be T H I T H I. Oh, this is this is the same as this. So things or things. Probably say things, right? Let's say things. Say things. This is also going to be things. And then I think we started this. What did we say? W I, right? W I with. I blank, I blank, say things with uh, um, this, hmm, something S that I blank, say any other way. Things I, H A D, things I had no, things I had no, W O. R, W O R D. I think I had no words for. Is an R? Yeah, that's an O. All right. I think I had no words for. Great. All right. We have the bottom half. So this is a Q is a W. That's not a W. So we still don't really know what this is. We know it's an O, and then we don't know, and then I don't know, and then D. I don't know, maybe C means C. We'll see. Um, this is N T. Okay. Uh, where do we want to go? What about this one? This is going to be A, N, probably D. Things I say with blank and blank. Blanks, right? So that's so let's see. S H A S H A N is we don't have that. B is we don't have that. Sh sh mm, what? S H A Hmm, I am stumped. Um I feel like I've heard this book before, so I'm like trying to think about it. Like, what does it mean? What are they actually talking about? Not just the letters. I feel like they were like using some sort of medium to express themselves, like art or music. Like if they were like a designer, they'd be like, oh, I used clothing to speak, you know, that kind of thing. Um, let's see. What about this word? We have the F. Here, so F O I found. Let's say found F O U N D. Great. I think it is good. I think C means C. So this will be color. Color. Yeah, the R. Color and sh something. Uh, shapes. Oh, I like that. What about the B? What's the B? Do we have an E as B? Yes, we do. All right. I think I found, I found, I, must be could, right? The color and shapes that I couldn't say any other way. Things I had no words for. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Actually, I really like this book because usually this is a hint that it's not the letter it stands for, but now they're like, you know what? We're not giving you any hints. And... You know what? We didn't need it. You know, it worked out okay. We just had to doubt ourselves a hundred times. But, um, oh, how fun. And I love this. I love the color and shapes. Uh, color is one of my, like, words of the new year. 
um, just incorporating more color into my life and appreciating the color I have around me and paying attention to it. And so I love, love this. Okay, let's see who said it. So this is where I just kind of go through the motions and go through the letters because I just, having to guess names drives me crazy. So we have Georgia, probably O'Keefe, right? Let's see. I don't think there's a K, but let's say E. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, how beautiful. That wasn't too bad, right? That was okay. It was doable. You could have done this letter by letter, but it wasn't so bad, right? Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me. And I'll be sure to do more from this wonderful book.